Forte, also known as a Yoon Mi Rae for a Tiger JK. And I am in my desk, or I'm at my desk, dust warming again. Um, it's Chuseok holidays coming up, so everyone is starting to leave a little early. I might try to get out early too if I can. Um, but I wanted to make a quick video because I, I, I just realized I never did my apartment video. And I want to do that. But I also wanted to make a little announcement for my few fans out there, followers or friends. Um, I am no longer going to do music video reactions. I had a few people ask me to react to some other things. I love Korean K-pop music and I love reacting to it. But time-wise, it is so hard to avoid watching some videos at the same time as getting the time to truly react to it and put the video up at the same time like these people that are doing this all the time props to you it's not like I ever thought your job was easy but it's just not working for me and I don't want to I kind of feel like I'm missing out on videos at the right moment because I, I usually try to wait until I can make the video to see it and I end up getting behind and I just like way too many k-pop videos I think are, are grouped and so it's like every time someone has a video which is almost every day it seems I'm constantly like oh god I gotta wait and then I gotta go to work and then I gotta do this other stuff and so the people that do it all the time y'all are my heroes I love you and I enjoy watching your videos which I will continue so my last um, k-pop reaction video was CL's lifted I think that was a good note to go on because I am YG is my home my love everything so um I'm gonna leave it with that that'll be my last one unless there's some you know special one like Big Bang does another one you know <laughs> that'll come out you know I have to react to that and I probably will make it a big deal with my friends that like Big Bang too so um yeah so that's that so that's my little announcement I am going to actually start blogging video blogging um, about what's going on there's so many blogs about what's going on in Korea but usually those people are in Seoul or one of the bigger cities and I live in Suncheon South Korea which is a southern area um, if you talk to people in Seoul it's the country it's totally not the country at least in my American idea of what country looks like it's not it's a beautiful little city um, not too far from Gwangju which is our biggest city in the Jolanamdo area which I'm living in so I think there needs to be a little bit more videos coming from down here as well as Seoul because I go to Seoul a lot and I like making blogs about that stuff so I'm actually gonna get on top of that now because I got really behind I haven't done a video blog in forever um, and I really like to do that I want to get in the habit of that now so I'm gonna start with doing a home tour I want you guys to check it out I live in a one room and one rooms are literally very small mine is even smaller than most one rooms I live in a newer area um, so it's kind of up and coming a lot of people want to live here so therefore they have squeezed these small amounts of buildings <laughs> into this one little area and so people's rooms are super small so it's very tight but I've totally made it like home comfortable for me um, at least for the year <laughs> and uh, so I will take you on a tour of my home, but I just wanted you to keep in touch with me, keep, uh, you know, following me. If you see anybody that might be interested in my videos, share it, like it, comment if you have questions or want me to do a vlog about something specific. I will start doing food blogs because I love to eat, if you guys could not tell. I love to eat. I love to eat Korean foods as well as just restaurants that you find in Korea. There's a secret, not secret, I don't know why I said secret, there's like a little niche of foreign cuisines made by Koreans or fusion dishes made by Koreans um, in mom and pop style restaurants in up and coming chef restaurants in these different areas and it's not just in Seoul it's not just in the big cities they have it in other places too which are very exciting and I like those places so I'm definitely gonna do some food blogs about that so that way if you are coming to Korea and you realize oh my god I'm not gonna end up in Seoul what am I gonna do there's other things to do Korea is a nice sized place not everything revolves around Seoul, but Seoul is amazing. Busan is amazing, but there's other places outside of it. So that's what I'm going to focus on my blogs on now are video blogs of what's going on with my life outside of Seoul most of the time. And then some food blogs in, out, Seoul, and then even when I travel outside of the country because that's part of food too. So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to show you my apartment. 
that one room. <laughs> Let's go. Hey everyone, so outside of my school, this orange building back there, it's pretty big, I don't know if you can see it. That's actually my school, so I'm walking to my one room apartment right now. Um, this is one side of my town. Um, these are the big apartment buildings that um, some people get like, you know, pretty nice, fancy little apartments. Some foreigners do get to live in those types of buildings. That one is brand spanking new, like they're still building some of them, so not likely many foreign teachers get to live there. But um, those type of buildings, I live in a villa, which are usually no more than like four to five store, uh, stories or floors. Um, mine's actually only four. And I'm right on my school, so I actually have some students that live in the building. I'm really close to my school, that's a benefit. Sometimes it's like you don't want your kids seeing you when you wake up in the morning, even on the weekends, or hearing you when you come in at night. Um, but so far, so good. So uh, that's just something. So let's go towards my apartment. I'll walk through my park that we pass. This is a nice little area. They play uh, volleyball or badminton over here. They'll put the little nets up um, during certain times of the year. This is actually a kindergarten. It looks like a church, but it's like a kindergarten building. Um, you have a little playground that's open to anyone in this area. And the famous Korean outdoor workout equipment where at any point in time you can use to work out. You don't have to pay for it. It's like cool gym equipment. It's definitely a nice little area. Um, so this is my building right ahead and I live right next door to a chicken place everyone knows that Korean fried chicken is absolutely delicious and Korea loves their fried chicken so they're everywhere and a Meju box uh, beer beer zone so it's great so yes this is my apartment um, I am on the, the third floor It's a one room, meaning very tight, very close entryway. You can see like that's how much space you have to walk in. So I have my lovely mirrored microwave. It's like the perfect mirror to walk out on. Okay. Um, refrigerator, nice size. Kitchen, right when you walk in the door. New appliances, new kitchen, very nice area. Um, can you guess which Big Bang member I like? And washing machine, part of it. Bathroom at the very end of the little walkway. Not like it's far. Very small bathroom, but gets the job done. You know, small bathroom. And then you turn, I do have these fancy sliding doors to make it seem like I have a separate room. But if you really look at it from a distance, <laughs> you see that it's just, I can't even stretch my arms across. But they want you to feel like you have a separate room from your bedroom. So, opening my sliding doors, and we enter my room. And then I have a lot of storage space. I bought my own cabinets and everything, so they match my television slash computer um, storage area bed I have a double sized bed which I had to get myself because most teachers automatically receive just a twin single bed and I like a little more space this is my little couch I bought it folds out into a twin size bed so I actually can have a slumber party even though it's pretty small um, some more storage this one is a new it actually comes with a closet that's not always common in Korea to have closets in the little places, but pretty nice, pretty nice size closet. Not the neatest, but you know, it's there. My oven for cooking and my drying area, which is all nice. Okay. So, and I will 
work out on the park. So it's a nice little view of my city and I can even see my school. If you see that little orange building in the right hand corner, that is my school. So this is my one room. <laughs> this is how small apartments can be in Korea. It can be smaller. Um, usually a little bit bigger for most, um, depending on where you live, but it's home. <laughs>